30 students are renting a bus to visit Georgia's Little Grand Canyon. They plan on sharing the cost of the rental bus equally among themselves. The students figure out if another 10 students join, then each student will save $4 on her share of the rental bus cost. Assume again that the students share the cost equally. How much does it cost to rent the bus? Assume the cost to rent the bus does not depend on the number of passengers. We are going to solve this problem algebraically. We are going to assume that each student pays X dollars when there is a 30-way split. So when 30 people are sharing, each student pays X dollars. If that's the case, the cost to rent the bus must be 30 times X. Each person pays X dollars, 30 people will pay this much. Um, the next line is, in case of a 40-way split, each person, according to the question, saves $4. In other words, each person pays X minus $4. So in case of a 40-way split, since each person pays X minus $4, the cost to run the bus can be written in this manner. Each person pays X minus $4, and there are 40 people, so the total cost must be 40 times X minus 4. Now, according to the question, the cost to rent the bus does not change. So that tells us that 30x must be equal to 40 times x minus 4. So now we have a nice equation. And all we need to do is use algebra to solve it. 30x is equal to 40 times x minus 4. Let's move to the next slide. Erase everything. OK. So we'll solve this equation from the, the equation that we got on the previous slide. 30x is equal to 40 times x minus 4. We start with the equation. We distribute 40 and get 40x minus 160. We bring 30x on the right-hand side, bring 160 on the left-hand side, we move the x's around. Now this is kind of a silly step. You don't have to do it. If you want to put your variables on the left hand side, you can. And 40x minus 30x is 10x. Divide both sides by 10 and you're going to get 16. The value of x is 16. The question wants us to find the cost to rent the bus. Uh, we know the cost to rent the bus is 30x. We can just replace x with 30. I'm sorry, uh, we know the cost to rent the bus is 30x and we know x is 16. So we replace x with 16 and we get 30 times 16 is equal to 480. However, you, can, you could have replaced x with 16 here too and you would get the exact same answer, 480. So our conclusion is the cost to rent the bus is $480.